This question says a high speed USB has a download rate of 3.84 times 10 to the 9th power bits per second. They give us the conversion rate of 1 byte equals 8 bits. Now it says calculate the download rate in bytes per second. Give your answer in scientific notation standard form. So they want us to convert between bits and bytes. You might not know what bits and bytes are, but don't get confused. Let's just read this question again and try to understand what it is saying. Remember, it's a word problem, so you must be able to read and comprehend what you just read. So it says, a high-speed USB has a download rate of 3.84 times 10 to the 9th bits per second. So it has a download rate. When we hear the word rate, what do we normally think of? Exactly, we think of speed, right? And they tell us it has a download rate, or we can say a download speed, of 3.84 times 10 to the 9th bits per second. So this is the rate, and the units is going to be bits per second. Now they want us to calculate the download rate in bytes per second. In order for us to do that, we're going to have to use the conversion factor, which is one byte equal eight bits. And we're going to have to multiply that by the download rate in order to calculate the download rate in bytes. So let's set this problem up. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to write the download rate in bits per second. So we're going to write 3.84 times 10 to the ninth. And we know the unit is going to be bits per second. So we're going to write bits. I'm going to write it in a different color. I write it in blue. Bits. And we're going to put the seconds at the bottom. And we're just going to put a fraction line in between them. And we still have our bits per second. So we could have written it as bits per second. Or we can write it like this, bits per second. It's the same thing. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to multiply by the conversion factor, which is one byte equal eight bits. Now, when we do this, I don't want you to get confused. All we're going to say, we're going to say one byte over eight bits. Now the reason why we know byte is going to be at the top is because that is what they want us to find. They want us to find the download rate in bytes. Therefore byte is going to be at the top. And because we're canceling out bits, we must put bits at the bottom because it must cancel out. Now that we have this setup, we're just going to cancel out. We know bits it's going to cancel out with bits. Therefore, that's going to leave us with 3.84 multiplied by 10 to the ninth power. And we know that's going to be multiplied by 1. So we're just multiplying fractions the way we normally would. Do not get confused. Over, you can write this in brackets if you want to. Well, we don't have any number yet. We know we can add a 1. So we can say 1 multiplied by 8. And for our units, we're going to have byte. And we're going to have s. s is for seconds, by the way. So we can write s. I'll just write out seconds for you guys. Now let's solve this. We have 3.84 times 10 to the power of 9 multiplied by 1. Well, when we put this in our calculator, we know any number multiplied by 1 is going to give us back that number. Therefore, we can simplify this further by saying 3.84 multiplied by 10 
to the power of 9 over 1 times 8 is going to give us 8. And we know the units is going to be byte per second. Now just use your calculator and plug this in. We have 3.84 times 10 to the power of 9. We're going to put all that in brackets. Now when you divide this, you should get the answer 4, 8, and this is going to be a lot of zeros. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And don't forget to write our units, which is going to be byte per second. Our problem is not 100% complete. It says calculate the download rate in bytes per second, but they want our answer in scientific notation. Now we're going to have to convert this to scientific notation. All we have to do is add a decimal point and take the decimal point over to the left until it gets between the first two digits. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So now the decimal point is going to land between 4 and 8. Therefore, we can write our answer as 4.8 multiplied by 10 to the power of 8 bytes per second. So you can write per second. This is going to be our answer for this problem. So for the download rate in bytes, we know the answer is going to be 4.8 times 10 to the power of 8.